Okay, to go through a rouge, you need a very good steering wheel. So uh, let me explain a little bit about the steering wheel in the 919 Porsche. So here we are. It's uh, quite complicated as you can see. Very, very uh, important that the driver is comfortable with this wheel for all conditions in the cockpit. Obviously, uh, we have a lot of switches starting with on the front. Let's, uh, let's go through uh, the display page, which here I have many different options to bring up a uh, hybrid engine, gearbox, many different temperature pages, fuel, uh, all sorts of information on the display page. So uh, when we bring up, a, if we have a, a Charlie 23, they give us a Charlie, we go three, uh, three with these two rot rotaries on the outside, and then we confirm with the steering wheel. So this is a very important uh, multi-function switch to then marry up with the two rotary switches on the outside. Here we can turn the engine on and off, which is quite unique for me in Formula One. I could not turn the engine on and off, but here I can turn the engine on and off. High beam, the, the back markers. Here we have some, uh, obviously the upshift, some clutch and uh, some more clutch uh, situations on the top here. Yeah, I mean, we need to learn a lot in between races. Sometimes the information is getting changed on the steering wheel, so it's what we are, it's getting superseded. So we need to understand that a lot with the driver manual. Three or four months, three or four months to develop a steering wheel like this for sure.